All right. In this uh, video here, I want to explain to you the operation of the on delay and off delay timer and actually take a look at the mechanical operation uh, of the diagram. So what I have here is I've had, I have a on delay timer that basically says when I energize this timer, this green light will turn off after a set, after a set period of time um, and the red light will come on at the same time. Uh, these two contacts are relaying uh, their uh, signal from the timer coil itself. So when you energize the coil, the timer, the timer coil says that the normally closed contact will go open after the preset time has elapsed and the normally closed, uh, con uh, the normally open contact will go closed uh, at the same time that that time elapses. The timing diagram says that in the de-energized state, um, my coil being de-energized, the line here says that it's off. Um, and you see that at the point where I turn this uh, switch on or energize the coil, that's when the timer starts timing for the on delay timer. The behavior of my load uh, is what the line diagram is actually saying is that when you energize that coil, the timer may start, but the time must elapse before the green light goes off and the red light should come on. When I turn off the power from the coil, immediately the green and red light will turn off also, or go back into their normal state, being uh, closed and, uh, and open. Back in here to the desk, you'll see the operation. I have this set for five seconds. The green light is on because the green light is wired through a normally closed contact. When I flip the switch, there's a delay. Now that the coil is energized, after the time is done, the light, the contacts change their state, green light goes off, red light comes on. When I reset the timer or take the power off the timer, it goes back to zero. The green, the contacts go back to their original state, being that the green light was wired to a closed contact and the red light was wired to an uh, open contact. Again, energize the coil. Delay is happening, timer is counting down. Once the time is done, the contacts change state. You have to remember, in order to reset a timer, you have to take power from the coil. Next, I want to move to the off delay. The off delay timer has what we call instantaneous contacts. I have the exact same setup with the exception I'm using a off delay timer uh, because the arrow is pointing down which is different from the on delay that's how you tell whether you're working with an on delay or off delay timer the timer coil will not say off delay or on delay on it maybe you would find it in a spec sheet but not in the ladder diagram the way you tell what type of timer you're working with is by looking at the timer symbol. Now again, a switch is controlling the timer uh, coil. When I say it's instantaneous, I'm saying the at the time that you energize this coil, the contacts will change their state. The close will immediately go open and the open will immediately go close, as demonstrated with the timing diagram. The timing diagram says this coil is off and this is closed and this, is, this red light is off because it's open. If you look here at the time I energize the coil, immediately at the same time, this contact will go open and this contact will go closed, cutting off the green light and cutting on the red light. When I de-energize the coil, of the timer, that's when the time starts counting. 
so that there will be a period because the coil is no longer energized there will be a period of time elapse before the contacts go back to their original state as you can see here this green light is wired through a normally closed contact and I have this red light wired through a normally open contact at the time I energized the off delay the contacts immediately change state the timer is not counting at this point it will not count until I de-energize the timer and now it's counting to go back to its original state hence we call it the off delay timer one other thing about the off delay timer is that the off delay timer has to be wired has to be wired hot all the time if you do not wire the off delay timer hot all the time then you'll never have the power to make the contacts change their state the off delay timer actually contains a contact when you short the two wires together that's energizing the contact and when you break it apart that's de-energizing the contact or de-energizing the coil. Thank you. Have a good day.